Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul out here in Northern California on October 30th, 2014. I want to show you a couple of things that I, uh, Lord willing, I hope and pray to get to yesterday, uh, yesterday, tomorrow on uh, spiritual warfare as we head into the evil day this world celebrates as Halloween. This is from the 70s, I believe, from the Bay Area, California, where we went to church for a while. This is a great book. It's just like it's beginning level. Um, it's called Understanding Spiritual Warfare. Understanding Spiritual Warfare. The picture of a cross on there, and then the back looks like this. The author. And his name is Dr. Roger Hootsina, H-O-U-T-S, T-S-I-M-A, my, my vision's getting, get that up there as close as possible, okay, so this has been thoroughly studied by me and my entire family for decades. And then there's another one. I, I met the author of this one at a revival in 2011. And this one is called, you should be able to get this book for like 10 bucks. It's called Strategic Spiritual Warfare Prayer. And this sister right here, uh, Joyce Martinez, uh, she actually, I think, gave me this book. Here's a picture of her. She lives, uh, she lives close by here. There's a picture of her. Uh, prayer that penetrates the darkness and in these books it has like cliff notes and assignments and you're mapping out strategies it's very involved explaining the armor and then I have another one so that's this one by uh, sister Joyce Martinez um, strategic spiritual warfare everybody got that so and then there's an even bigger one. It's about this thick. And it's the ultimate. It's called the ultimate spiritual warfare. My, my mother raised me up heavy in that stuff. Having said all that, God bless you. And, and may God uh, shine his favor upon you. And let there be no ought in between us. I know there comes misunderstandings. But in my life, they're gone. You know, none of us are perfect. Um, and none of us should claim to be perfect and none of us should be publicly trying to uh, put each other down it's, that's, that's not Jesus it's not Jesus so uh, I'm, that's all I'm going to say on that I've been sitting back here in my office and I'm so amazed and, and humbled in here because this used to be my business, business office I was a small business owner and I write checks here and pay the bills here and there was training equipment and, uh, I was so busy I barely had time to pray did all my praying at night uh, and all these were permits behind me to be able to go here and go there and have this and that and it, and the Lord asked me one time he said would you accept the call and forsake all and I did the video is called minister Paul accepts the call and forsakes all and then I began getting educated in the ministry and began to get tech, uh, certificates in prophecy and, and uh, Bible school. And, and uh, my whole life changed. Can I get an amen for the, for the good? And we come on here and we come to do good. And there's attacks that we face that we must move on from. If you're going to stay in the past, uh, you're just going to get encrusted things are just going to grow on you if you continue moving forward nothing shall by any means hurt you get up let's go through this together hey amen i'm not stopping why are you huh because haters just tell them look, look you need to miss me with that just tell them that look you need to miss me with that i must be doing something right if you're always trying to get in my face, because if I was doing something wrong, you wouldn't even bother. The the enemy, he don't attack those people that are just saying untruths. Why would what, what would be the point in wasting resources on someone that's just putting out here a bunch of nonsense? 
he'd be he'd be sending his troops towards the ones telling the truth. So when they come up to you and say, oh, blah, 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 he's meaning to miss me with that. Got my armor on. And uh, and they'll go on somewhere else and go spreading their hate and stuff. But that we, we focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Now, I've been talking a lot about end time issues. The Antichrist, the false prophet, and uh, the United Nations, the role of the United Nations. And what you're looking at here is a pit uh is the vatican city uh of saint peter's square vatican city saint peter's square the, it's amazing what the holy spirit will show you if you just slow down and get out of its way Ooh, that was interesting what's up <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing here okay i didn't even know i could do that I've got to update to this betas program. Okay, so this is the Vatican. All of these people are straight up deceit. You know, people, oh, let's throw rocks at this false prophet. Look, I'm going to say it again even louder. All of these people in here are deceit. They're serving man and not God. They have no personal relationship with Jesus. The blind leading the blind into the ditch getting rich while you digging your own ditch <laughs> um, so I, I on a, seven days ago from today i noticed that obama just as the lord it showed me he was going to continue to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the u.n you know why because he just ain't interested in, in uh, ruining and running this nation he's interested as part of the plan of ruining and running this world he has no idea that he has an appointment with an almighty consuming fire and his name is God. And we know him to be Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus covers us and protects us. All these things must come to pass. We got to come on here and sound the alarm. Hello, somebody. It's, here he is pronouncing seven days ago on October 23rd. I, I was on a break. Um, United Nations Day. How important it is to have uh, I'll just sum it up with this on this day let us resolve to strengthen and renew the United Nations see not the United States the United Nations he if you could just see through spiritual eyes you could see that Satan has entered this man and he is now proclaiming himself through the United Nations even sat in their seat in, in their seat at their council and saying, look, I'm I'm gonna uh, strengthen and, and renew the United Nations, while he allows our borders to be infiltrated and beheadings go on all over the place. There's terror everywhere. He just ignores it, sitting in the seat of Satan. Seventy percent of the world apparently blind. This is what Jesus said would happen. So I began to read about this United Nations. And I'm going to put a, a link to this in this Vatican City. It's all coming together, saints, and, and uh, no one can stop it. So this United Nations was formed after World War II to make this world stronger. Well, here we go. Look at the timing. As they lead us, the powers that be, like sheep to a slaughter, thinking... They're leading Minister Paul into World War III. No. You know who's leading me? The devil is a liar. The Holy Spirit of God. The Ruach HaKadosh. And his son, Yeshua HaMashiach. See, he walks with me and he talks with me and he says, Go a little farther, Paul. Go a little farther, Paul. Speak a little louder, Paul. Show a little more, Paul. And every day I get up and I get renewed and refreshed and re-energized and rejoiced. And, and I say all things work together for my good. Because of him, I live and move and have my being. Hallelujah. He said, I'm the prodigal son. Somebody just claimed this. I'm going to put a link to this. You read about how this man left his father, went and spent everything he had, partied it up, and said, that's it, man. I blew it. I'm living with pigs. 
read it for yourself. And, and, uh, and his elder son was in the field and he came and drew nigh to the house. He heard music and dancing. See, he said, he, he said that, uh, you know, he's just going to go back to, he was willing to be a servant in his father's house. He says, I will arise, go to my father and will say unto him, father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee, and I'm no worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. I'm not worthy. I blew it. And the house threw a party for him. See, we're not worthy, but through Christ, we're made worthy. We pray to be accounted worthy. It's through the blood of Jesus and the regeneration of our heart and our mind and soul transformed to Christ. I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I that live, that he, but he that lives in me. See, I've been crucified with Christ. And heaven's about ready to throw a party and the devil wants to throw darts. Throw darts, throw darts. You're a liar. You're no good. You blew it, man. You missed it. Last chance, last chance. Just stay down. Don't get up. Just stay down. Don't get up. And I say, I'm a child of the most high king. I'm a child of the most high king. Get out of my way. Stop tripping. I have been called by God for such a time as this. Lead me not into temptation and deliver me from evil. Jesus, light up the path. And, and, and he called, what's this? Okay. <laughs> Some window alert. Thing. <laughs> Good timing though. And he said unto his son, thou art forever with me and all that I have is thine. It was, it was meet that we should make merry and be glad for this. Thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and now is found. And everybody say, amen. Thank you, Jesus for forgiving me of my past and leading me into your glorious future. By the blood of Jesus, by being born again, incorruptible. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to show you a couple more things. The Lord led me to Washington, D.C. today, and I took a look at it. Um, been staring at this area for a long time, and then... I wanted, he, he told me to go to the United Nations in closing. And uh, we're heading into the calm. We're in the calm before the storm. And uh, so we're going to go United Nations, New York, New York. Just a little bit down the road here. It's all coming together and I'm excited. Even my excited, excited. So here's the UN. Come down over here. And some may ask, what uh, what does this have to uh, do with anything? Well, it's things to watch. The Bible says to take heed, watch, and pray. And uh, you know what? I'm taking heed. I'm watching. I'm praying. What was that? What's this? <laughs> I ended up in some kind of tunnel. Lord, have mercy. Let's get out of the tunnel. I made a video called Tunnels of Terror. This is a warning right here. Let's boot scoot boogie straight up out of this tunnel. How'd I get in this tunnel? See look, see the light? There's light at the end of the tunnel. We're coming out, coming out, come out from among them. That was a strange thing. First Avenue tunnel. Well, you just watch. The Holy Spirit gonna use that. Let me go down here real quick if I can. Why on earth? Yeah, street view. I heard to go down here and look at what's down here. I'll be in prayer this weekend. Is this some type of railway, trailways, uh, some type of transportation system here? Does anybody know? Praying for the transportation system. All of them. Like no, nobody's business. Now what, I'm inside the building. has been interesting so Washington DC and New York I think I'm going to put this in the uh, New York um, around the United Nations headquarters and just remember we come on the wall and they sound the alarm we're not perfect we're just doing a job for Jesus Christ we do it in love we do it in love and and I want you to be reminded that you're that that prodigal child you're the prodigal child that you, there's been so much put on you and, and Jesus is screaming, take and learn from me. Take my easy burden. Take my light yoke. 
Learn from me. Stop listening to others. Stop listening to the world. Come to me as little children. And